Let's talk about the biggest mistake that algo traders, quantitative traders, whatever you wanna coin the phrase as, make, all right? This mistake tends to have poor strategies that cost you a lot of money when you run them live. And my goal in this video today is to make sure you avoid this mistake, okay? This mistake involves essentially optimizing a strategy with the most amount of data possible, thus overfitting your strategy. And overfitting a strategy is the worst thing you can do when it comes to quantitative trading. An overfit strategy will pour or will perform very poorly live, cost you lots of money and waste a lot of time. And my goal is to show you not how to overfit your strategy and to build robust strategies. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you that. I have software here pulled up called Stratgen, which helps you uh, test strategies robustly and helps you develop strategy ideas and test them, okay? And as we can see here, I will maximize this. As we can see here, we can see the start date, January 1st, 2008, end date of April 1st, 2025, okay? Right here is one of the, the biggest mistakes that algo traders make. They use all the data that they can have access to to find some strategies. So now if we look for, say, some Bollinger Band strategies, some uh, EMA strategies, Keltner Channel, and maybe we'll do an SMA. Let me just make sure this is on one rule. And then I hit run, what's gonna happen is it's gonna generate these strategies for me on all the amount of data, right? From 2008 to 2025, give me the best strategies that you know make the most money, have the highest sharp ratio, and then you're, you're set, right? You have a great strategy. No, that's not what you wanna do at all. You do not wanna be you know, using as much data as possible. You wanna be compartmentalizing that data and testing uh, within and out of sample data as much as possible. So let's, we're gonna find those strategies and what's gonna happen is it's, you know, it's gonna find us four strategies. Some will be good, some will be bad, right? Uh, if I sort, you know, the best strategy made 13,000, if we actually chart that, uh, let's chart that here. So this was the best strategy and Hypothetically, let's say it was amazing. The, the orange line is the equity curve and the blue line is if you just bought and hold. So already buy and hold is better than the strategy. But what I've done, you know, I talk about this time and time again, is this strategy, you know, its results were from 2008 till today in one back test, it's essentially an optimization overfitting for those years, okay? And if you were to trade the strategy live, I can almost guarantee you it's not gonna do well, it's gonna lose money, okay? So how do you fix this, right? What is the solution? How, Jacob, how do I build good strategies that are not overfoot? Please tell me I'm losing lots of money algo trading. I'm gonna show you how. So there's two main methods, all right? The method I use is the first one I'll talk about and then there's a second method as well. So I recommend, right, when you're testing ideas, when you're building strategy ideas, you just use a small amount of data. That's my method, okay? So when I'm using Stratgen here to generate strategy ideas, I'm only using two years, right? Uh, let's say 2021 to end of 2022 for my, uh, yeah, I'll say 2023. So I'm only using two years, right? Very small time period for testing my idea. So if I just give it some random signals here and hit run, let it generate those strategies, I'm only using two years worth of data. And then after I'm satisfied with the strategy, right? I then test it on more data. I'll usually give it now 2024 and 2025 data, um, or uh, 2023 as well, and see if it still kind of performs as good, right? Is the return of drawdown still above two? Is it making more money with this new data? That is honestly the easiest fix ever, right? Basically use a small amount of data when you're, when you're testing your ideas, sort of as a feasibility test, some may call it, and then give it an out of sample test with new data. So I got more results because I selected more signals, but if I take, say, the highest return return to drawdown uh, strategy, which is this one, so it's saying go long if uh, we have a hammer candle and then it's got a 1% profit target, 2% stop loss, exit after one bar. So if I chart this, that's the strategy. The yellow is the equity curve, uh, blue is buy and hold. So it beats buy and hold over those, those two years of 2021 and 2022, but how is it done since 20, uh, 23, 24, and 25? So let's test that. So 
this strategy uh, is going long if hammer is above zero. So now what I can do, let me just kind of hone in on that strategy. So let's find the hammer candle here. Uh, if we go to H, hammer above zero. So I'll check that for entry. Sorry, my camera's blocking the view. So we check that for entry and then let's do start date 2023 and end date 2025. All right. And hit run. Now it's going to test that strategy with this new data that we haven't presented it yet. All right. So that hammer candle. And now once we do that, we can see it hasn't done so well, right? 2023 to 2025, this strategy has lost money, has not beat buy and hold. And yeah, not a great strategy. I wouldn't trade it. So that simple kind of splitting in and out of sample test is what I recommend uh, you do for finding robust strategies. Okay. So that's, that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is what's called walk forward analysis. And I actually still use walk forward analysis. However, I use it to update my strategies on a yearly basis, but you can also use walk forward analysis to test your strategies for robustness. So the difference with uh, walk forward versus uh, out of sample testing is that essentially you would, after you develop your initial strategy idea and say it passes that initial two year test, from there you would select more data and do a walk forward analysis with your parameters, right? So you would still include that out of sample data that I did, which was 2023 to 2025. But in addition, you would be modifying your parameters slightly. So say you had a profit target, then you would be testing different profit targets or stop losses or whatever in other inputs you have over that same time frame, And essentially you're looking for increased performance where your strategy is making more money or, you know, the return to drawdown is either increasing or staying the same. That's kind of what you're looking for. So very similar processes. Some people say walk forward is better um, because technically you can get more out of sample data by using more iterations. Um, I personally, I don't think there's much of a difference in terms of, you know, out of sample versus walk forward. As long as you're testing with new data, that's that's kind of the point of uh, testing robust systems. So that's how you fix it. Okay. In conclusion, do not use all the data when you're generating strategy ideas. Use a small amount of data, and then save some more data for out of sample testing. Okay. I recommend one to two years for idea generation, and then your out of sample years should be, you know, that amount or more. Personally, uh, it's more for me. It's about two and a half years from 2023 to, to now. Um, in addition, there's other steps. There's many other steps that I talk about. If you want to learn more about the other steps in terms of testing more robust systems uh, for experts, see the links in the description below. But there is stuff like, you know, running in SIM or paper for a period of time, Monte Carlo analysis, multi-market tests, um, high order fill resolution tests, all those I talk about uh, in the links below. But this out of sample portion is probably where most algo traders fail. And, um, you know, will doing this test will filter out a lot of strategies. You'll find a lot of strategies don't pass and it will frustrate you. You're like, man, uh, I, t I tested a hundred strategies and they all did not pass. Get used to that. You know, there's a lot of times I've tested thousands of strategies and not one has passed. So get used to that. It should be hard to find strategies. But with this, with this process, you will find robust strategies and you will find they will perform better in a live environment. Of course, I talked about the other steps that I recommend taking and you can find those in the links uh, below. Um, where I, I teach and talk about those processes. So if you want to learn more about algo trading, trading bots, quantitative trading, let me know in the comments below uh, if you want to learn more or what do you think about this process? This software that you, you saw will be released very, very soon. It's called Stratgen. It helps you test and generate systems, uh, automated trading systems, as well as the code for you. So you don't have to code your own trading systems and you can spend more time testing. Uh, this will be released very soon uh, within the next quarter or two. It's still in very, early alpha stages, if you will, but it will be available to you guys as well to help you generate awesome trading strategies. I think that's it. I think that's it. So we'll see you next week and I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments below um, what you thought about this out of sample testing. If you do it, if you don't do it, um, but I do think it will help you a ton. See you guys later. Bye-bye.